Perfect. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go ahead and review another wig sent to me by Zuri Hollywood. Her name is Leanne and I have her in the color pink tip. Now I am very excited for this unit, especially because of the color blend that this unit has. Let me go ahead and take her out of her little box. Alright, so this is a look at what the stock card looks like. I have her in the color pink tip. She has a nice stretchable cap, five inch part, and she is roughly about 24 inches in length. I flipped this card over and noticed there is a freaking lime green color as well. And another great thing about this unit is, as you can see, there is so many different color blends. They recently released a brand new color called Tip Fanta, which is this orange one right here. Now y'all already know why you went ahead and clicked on this video and it is because of this color blend, honey. First of all, I've never seen a synthetic unit or any unit, matter of fact, with a type of color blend like this. These pink tips with like a darker pink root like I've never seen that color blend before and when I flipped this info card around first of all it looked like a pack of Skittles because of all the different colors that they have for this unit so I think you could definitely have so much fun with it and it comes out towards the end of October so it's perfect for Halloween looks so girl I'm like I'm excited to try this on now one thing I noticed is on the info card it says that it has a stretch cap so let me see here. Oh, it is. Oh, so it does have a, a good stretch to it. So I really think this would be perfect for all the big head girls out there. Because look, yes, that is actually really stretching. And then the mesh material that this unit has as well looks very, very breathable. So I don't think your head would be really hot inside of it. Like I mentioned before, this unit does have a nice deep five inch part, two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. Very well constructed and all the wefts are nice and tucked in so you're not gonna have any hair pulling through and getting tangled and this and that. Here is a closer look at that color blend as well as the hairline. Very, very natural right up in here. I mean, I really don't think you would have to do much of any plucking. And I just want to say, every time I review one of Zuri Hollywood's units, I feel like they're getting better and better with that hairline. As you can see right here, it has a very natural density, and I am very happy with that. One thing I do want to mention, though, is on these sides right here, the wefts are coming pretty close to this hairline, so you can actually see them pretty easily. It's not that dense. And just like that front hairline right here where you can see these wefts, you can see just a hint of it right here on each side of the hairline. Um, it's a black weft, so I think if they would have put more of a neutral color weft, you wouldn't be seeing it as easily. So that is something so far that I really think can be improved on this unit. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is cut this lace off, try her on, and get to the good stuff. Okay, so this is what she looks like initially on. No concealer in the hairline yet and no baby hairs. Y'all already know I kind of like to add baby hairs to my units just to make it look a little more natural or you know make it look a little bit more like an install rather than just like uh, I plopped it on my head <laughs> so one thing I can say right off the bat is I am living for this color blend I think it looks very very nice and I think it's a breath of fresh air from everything else on the market because I have not seen a wig with this color blend um, as for the texture, definitely seems very, very soft. I'm not even going to try to attempt to have the sides glued down to hide my hair just because there's really not much room with the lace. I'm not sure if Jill has the same hairline or not. I haven't reviewed her, um, but like I said, the color blend is very similar to Jill, so I'm just not... I'm, I'm just not sure about the cap construction, how that compares to her. I'm not sure if I want to have her as a middle part or a side part. So this is what she looks like with a middle part, guys. Super cute and 
Like I said, this hairline looks very good. I didn't add any concealer yet, but you can see already through and you can see my scalp and, you know, the wig cap and stuff. So I think it's not, not bad at all for the parting space. Um, let's shift her over just to see what she looks like as a side part. Okay, so I definitely think I like her better with a side part on this side. What I'm going to go ahead and do is hurry and customize this hairline a little bit, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, I'm back. I just got done customizing this unit as you guys saw. And like I said from the beginning when I was showing you guys the hairline, I am living for the density of this hairline. It looks so much better, so much more natural. And honestly, I had a lot less work I had to do compared to other units that I've reviewed. The density of this unit is very, very nice. Not too heavy, not too bulky. It's literally the perfect amount. I'm not sure what the density is on this, but it is very, very natural, as natural as a ombre pink wig could be but I don't feel any tangling coming on. Usually I can wear a unit in a video and as I'm talking, I can start to feel the fibers. They're gonna tangle, but um, as for this one, it seems like it will last a pretty good amount of time. The hair texture I am in love with, it seems super natural, the feel of it. I wouldn't quite call this full yakky, but it definitely does mimic human hair very, very well, so I'm very pleased with that. However, one thing I do want to mention that I just am not living for in this unit is the side hairline. So there's really not much you can do with it be to make it look natural. Um, you're not going to be able to you know, put this behind your ear. As you can see, you can see my natural hair is showing. Even as a middle part, you would need to have it like this um, in front of your ears rather than behind because either way, there's not much room for the lace on the sides. But hey, if that's not an issue for you and you are a person that likes units that have more of like a closure instead of a full lace front, then hey, this still works. It still looks cute. You can still get by wearing it. And honestly, like I said, it comes out towards the end of October. So it's perfect for Halloween if you don't want it to be, you know, like an every, I, w I don't even want to call this an everyday wig just because the color is so bold. Anyway, I have no idea where I was going on that rant, but I do want to say this about this unit. Even though it's technically not a lace front unit, it's I, I'm going to call this a closure unit. Um, I think it's good to get just due to the fact of how unique the color blend is, the way the texture feels, and the fact of if you're doing photo shoots, videos, anything like that, and you need to get a bomb ass style for a reasonable amount of money that's not gonna cost an arm and a leg, this will do the job, this will get it done. You don't need to go all out, buy all these bundles, do a custom dye job, because, I mean, it suits its purpose. You, you look bomb as hell in it. You can slay it pretty easily. 
Like I said, if you're doing a photo shoot, you're gonna wear it for the shoot and call it a day. And that is definitely what I'm gonna do in it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos in this unit for my birthday. If you ain't following me on Instagram already, I don't know why you don't because I post sneak peeks of my upcoming videos every week on there. But um, yeah, so if you're following me on Instagram already, you've seen this wig in my birthday photo shoot. So like I said, it suits its purpose. It does exactly what it needs to do, and that is to stand out, okay? Again, if you guys are digging this unit, I will leave all the information down in the description box below. Be sure to check out Zuri Hollywood. Shout out to them again for sending me this unit to go ahead and review for you guys. And that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.